After a 20 hour bus ride, I'm here in Hamza. What is the language spoken up here? Buruchaski. Wow. Assalamu alaikum. This is the kitchen. <laughs> okay, it's not like amazing, it's not bad, it's just I love sweet stuff. So if they put like chocolate, Nutella, somebody do that and I'll promote your store. <laughs> Look at all the uh, cherry blossom, so much greenery as well. Let me uh, get my uh, first reactions. Wow. <laughs> Oh. Wow, look how cool this is. Giant mountains, giant mountains, giant mountains. Geometric shapes you have never seen before. Look at this. Wow. After a 20 hour bus ride and uh, lack of sleep and lack of food, I'm here in Hamza. And we are here joined by Ajmal, who uh, is the. Hello. You are the founder, co founder. Yeah, of, I'm the co founder of Exploria. Exploria so. Uh, his uh, childhood friend and business partner, Arif, we met previously in Islamabad trying to get this trip organized. So now I've met the other half who is actually going to uh, make it all happen. So yeah. uh, as you can see, we have amazing yeah, together mountains we are going to explore all of Hunza and it's, it's amazing. It's yes. brilliant. We are waiting for uh, the perfect weather. Is this good weather? Or, uh, this is not the, yeah, it's, it's good, but we basically we are waiting for the sunny weather. You know? uh -huh, uh -huh. When it gets sunny, you'll yeah. be able to... I uh, see all the mountains up here, you know, we, we have the massive mountains. This is Rakoposhi, which, which we can't see because of it's, it's, uh -huh, it's, it's cloudy in the clouds. Yeah. So, so will it be sunny tomorrow, do you think, or is it... Uh, uh, I just checked the weather forecast and it says it, it's going to be rainy in the next two days. Oh. So, and after two days it's going to be like sunny. Ah, then we have good so weather. we'll have great weather then, yeah. Hansa is probably the most visited destination. It's, yeah. One except of the, for maybe Islamabad. Uh, definitely, yeah, it's, 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 Islamabad is different, you know, yeah. when it comes to like uh, hottest tourist destinations uh, in, in the northern areas of Pakistan, uh, Hunza is one of the hot, hottest mm -hmm. uh, destinations and then mm. uh, Hunza and Skardu, these are yeah. the two okay. most uh, visited places in northern Pakistan. So, for so many good reasons. Oh yeah. I don't know, maybe it's because I haven't been up in the mountains for a few years, mm -hmm. but when I was there in 2019, it was so uh, amazing. And this is amazing as well, but uh, yeah, we're gonna go and get some food. Yeah, because we're I have haven't some food uh, now. haven't eaten Luke's for a while. Favorite food you're gonna have? Dumplings. Dumplings. So I, I had dumplings uh, a few days ago oh, yeah. with um, with a reef in with Arif. Yeah, Arif okay. in, in uh, G9 maybe. I don't know. They were yeah, so it nice. Was, they were it was so G9. Good. Yeah, it was G9. And they're kind. There are not many people eat dumplings in uh, Islamabad it's more of a northern thing yeah, yeah 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 exactly it's it's basically chinese food you know so yeah. up north we enjoy it a lot we love it this food so not so many people offer uh, dumplings over here but there's a small shop you know okay this guy offers uh, amazing dumplings what is the language spoken up here urdu burushaski Wow, wow, there are like six, six languages uh, spoken in the northern areas of uh -huh, Pakistan, uh -huh. in, in Gilbastan. So over here we speak Hunzai or Brushaski. Okay, and it is a similar dialect to Urdu it's, or it's, completely different? No, no, it's one of uh, the most different languages in the world. Wow. It's, it's considered to be uh, the most, uh, uh, one of the most different languages out of the seven languages. Yeah, <laughs> so it's, it's, it's a very, very different language. For the first time on this trip, I'm wearing the only pair of long pants that I have. Everything else is shorts. <laughs> so we might have to buy some uh, while I'm up here. We can do a we can do a Hunza market hunt. Those are always fun. But so you're saying these are the best dumplings in all of Hunza? Yeah, it's, it's in Aliwal region. One all right. Best dumplings yeah, yeah. Like, oh, I literally haven't eaten anything today. <laughs> I had some chips. Look at this. Ooh. I love a local experience. Yeah. I don't like, you know, you fancy you restaurants. Don't like you don't like it? No, this is, this is good. Okay. Local. Okay, this is amazing. We're going to have the best dumplings here. Too. All right. Yeah, let's do it. All right, everybody, this is the menu. I can't read it. Is it in Urdu or is it in that language that Ajmal just said? But they have naan. Assalamu alaikum. Hello. How are you? <laughs> this is the kitchen. <laughs> what else is in here? Is this the uh well that's the, la that's the ladies' hall, we won't go in there. The washroom. This is local, I like it. I like the local vibes, I like the 
you know, you get to, to hang out with the locals, especially when you go into a new area and you are, you know, you're new to this kind of environment, different people, different languages, and you can just really immerse yourself straight into it just by eating at a restaurant with some locals. And only 10 cents for 10. 10 rupees each, 120 for a full plate. That's literally one Australian dollar. So, so nice. I love them so much that uh, we got another half plate. Let's uh, add some soy sauce. There we are. Ajmal just told me that the hotel is 3,200 meters. Hi, yeah. and we're at 2,000 to uh, 2,500 2, no. now. Yeah, so that's the one. Can you oh, see I, I think I top? see it. You won't be able to see it in the camera because I can barely see it with my eyes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I don't know why I'm trying to show yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> but when when we get up a little bit higher, how can you be so stupid? <laughs> <laughs> wow, that that's is high. Right. Yeah, that's right. Where we are going now. So it's going to take half an hour <laughs> to be there. All right, we will. Yeah. Uh, we will cut when we are somewhat nearby <laughs> or if something interesting comes we are here at a local shop we're getting shop shore i saw this actually on the street when uh, we were coming up in the van sort of like naan wrapped in whatever it's is inside that's actually pretty expensive is it expensive that's pretty expensive <laughs> i thought it would be uh well, after having momos for 120 <laughs> rupees, I thought this would be maybe 50, but... No, 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 no. It's under rupees. This particular region is like comparatively expensive because it's like tourist hub uh -huh. as well. So they have to pay a lot of rents even to have this place. Mm. So that's the, like the one of the reasons which actually... Yeah. I hate... It's okay. Love. Is it okay? It's okay. It's not lovely. It's, it's just not okay. like amazing. It's not bad. It's just. <laughs> I don't, I'm, not, I'm not okay. I don't have. I just like it. You being honest, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so he's making one right now. So yeah, he yeah. flattens yeah. it out. Mm. And then adds the uh, the mixture. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so he's folding it. And then uh, it's as simple as picking it up and then putting it on the hot stove or the hot plate. Can you ask how long he has been here for or doing the shop? It is oh, only one month. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys. Well, if you are looking for Shop Shora, be sure to uh, come here and uh, help them out. So, Ek month. One month they've uh, been in business. I'm not really sure how to describe it. We're sort of, uh, well, you can contact us for home delivery. I think it's that number. I'm not sure. But uh, this is it. <laughs> and then they also have uh, this. Looks like chicken, beef, skewer. Kebab? Yeah. And that's like kind of hot as well. Wow. They're like slowly roasting. I feel like, you know what would be good if they, if this was instead of, well, this is probably weird. I love sweet, I love sweet stuff. So if they put like, sugar? Yeah, inst no, instead of the, uh, instead of the mix, put like sugar and like jam or, or chocolate, oh, yeah? Nutella. But we can do that. That's a like nice idea of this one. Yeah, somebody do that and I'll promote your store. <laughs> Hunza is one of the most beautiful places in spring. Look at all the uh, cherry blossoms. You have the mountains in the back. So much greenery as well. And it's kind of contrasts with the big brown mountains with the snow-capped tops. It's just uh, so beautiful at this time of year.
Shabu Shle. Shabu Shle. What does it actually mean? Amazing. Brilliant. Good. Brilliant. Shabu Shle. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well, you know what is well done? This view that I'm looking at right ahead of me. That is well done. So just ahead is our hotel for the night. It is absolutely gorgeous out here. And it's so cold, we're like significantly higher. But wow, it is amazing. There's like huge mountains just there. It's just incredible out here. After we check in to the hotel, I'm gonna go up there and then we'll be able to look over all of Hunza, which will be such good view. This would be a good place to eat dinner, eat breakfast. Yeah. Looking yeah. out all over Hunza. Does it get cold at night? Oh yeah, we, you have inverter. <laughs> oh. With AC. Nice. Just go and open the window, man. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let me uh, get my uh, first reactions. This way. Yeah. Wow. Oh. <laughs> wow. Look at this. Look at this. Wow. This is awesome. Good? Yeah, man. Woo! So nice. Oh, I forgot the word. What, what's the well done? <laughs> I forgot it. <laughs> what does that mean? Very good. Very good. Wow, look how cool this is. Giant mountains, giant mountains, giant mountains. It's a bit chilly. It's a lot colder than uh, I'm used to. Maybe five or six degrees at the moment. Might need to get some more uh, winter clothing tomorrow. All right, we are all checked in. The place is so nice. We have like an amazing view all over Hunza. Um, and we're gonna check out the rooftop in a minute, but apparently this is one of the most famous viewpoints in all of Pakistan and definitely the most famous one here in Hunza. Gee, I'm out of breath already, even just walking up that hill, because for the past week or so, I've been in Islamabad, and prior to that, I've been in Karachi, which is, you know, zero meters above sea level. Whew. But, wow, up here, we are like two and a half, almost 3,000 meters above sea level, and like exercise, obviously, you're not getting as much oxygen because, it's thinner up here and there's not as much oxygen. So wow, I'm, I'm significantly feeling the, uh, the effects. So we'll walk up here, go up to that. Apparently it's 360 views all of Hunza. So that would be so nice to see. Also, I'll quickly add, I am freezing. I, as you guys know, I travel in shorts. I have literally one pair of long pants and they're so thin, like they're nothing. <laughs> I'm, uh, my jacket is, very thin as well so tomorrow we're gonna go on a market hunt a winter clothing market hunt we'll buy some uh buy some beanies buy some sweaters buy some long pants because um we're gonna be spending a fair bit of time up here in uh oh, we'll go this way we're gonna be spending a fair bit of time in the mountains where it's gonna be pretty cold Jeez, Louise. Look at this, 360 degrees. I'll face the camera that way as well. Just all around, huge mountains. And then down there's Hunza. It's actually pretty big. Like you won't be able to see much with the GoPro, but there's a lot of little uh, like villages around. So it's actually a big portion. And then down the middle is that, is the river that runs all the way through. And it looks so blue there, and I believe that way is, uh, I'm not sure of the name, but it's a lake. And it's like turquoise, green, blue, like dark blue. Uh, it looks absolutely beautiful. So we're gonna visit there sometime over the next couple of days. My hand's getting really cold. Obviously, like it's going into the evening time, so temperatures are dropping. But uh, especially in like this hand, this hand already has not good uh, circulation, so yeah. 
Ooh, we are out, I think. Look at this. Wow. So over there was my accommodation. This is like the highest peak, or the highest part where there is accommodation here in Hunza. So like, there's all like little sections that you can stay along that are slowly make their way up. But this is like the highest because up there, it's just sheer cliff. I just, like today is a pretty overcast and cloudy day. I just can't imagine when the weather clears up in the next couple of days when it's just like blue skies. And you can see just peaks of mountains everywhere. It really makes you uh, realize how small you are in this world. Like, I'm in one country of like 196 countries in the world, and I'm in like one area of that, and then in that area, I'm in like one region, and then in that region, I'm in like one little town, and then in that town, I'm in like this little area, and then in this little area, I'm on top of this rock. It's just crazy. Like big mountains like this. Geometric shapes you just have never seen before. Really make you ponder your existence. <laughs> Alright, Mr. Uh, Philosophical. Luke's philosophy is coming out soon, guys. Uh, be sure to subscribe and uh, I have a book released in the next couple of weeks. <laughs> so even in the GoPro, you can see, look how significantly more blue that area is compared to further up the river. It's like it's just such a beautiful blue. So I'm pretty sure that runs all the way along here and then over on the other side, or just like in that little canyon, is uh, where Lake Adda, Adabad, Adda Abad maybe? I'm not sure if that's the right name, but something along the lines of that, where it's just like blue, crystal clear, just incredible. All right, everybody. Well, it is absolutely freezing up here, but from my first day or the first couple of hours here, in Hunza, I know this is going to be an epic trip. This is where I wanted most of my uh, Pakistan trip to take place in. So I'm going to spend, be spending the next couple of weeks here, going through Hunza, going through Skardu, maybe making my way down to Fairy Meadows. Um, but just look around, like look how amazing it is. Seriously, it's just eye-oring, and just you, I'm like just sort of like speechless as to how you know 360 degrees of just like thousand meter mountains but uh yeah gonna finish up the video here and uh probably just gonna go sit in my room because it's actually warm in there and uh until i have some cleaner and uh comfier and warmer clothing uh we'll do all that tomorrow as always everybody chase your dreams and we'll see you all in the next one